Takahata, I'm not going to notice because he has so many fucking voices. As I was about to say, you're probably going to recognize the voice actor of Caiaphas Kane, but also, uh, the best way I can describe Caiaphas Kane to you in the 40k series is he is basically Courage the Cowardly Dog for 40k. Yeah. He's a, he's a very smart guy who thinks too lowly of himself, who's actually really good at his job. Like... He's a commissar, which is basically their post to keep the soldiers fighting and keep morale up. But they're usually the most hated person on the battlefield. Because usually their idea of morale boosting is, I'm going to shoot you if you try and run. But instead, he actually leads soldiers. I mean, the first time he did, most of his ideas are, I'm going to say a lot of... He's smart enough to basically actually talk to people and be like, Okay, so this person obviously wants me to just fluff them up. So I can do that, so they'll listen to me. But he actually has smart ideas. Like, you know, he... Like, he is thinking of doing cowardly things. He's like, get this ship right here, right now. And they're like, okay, why? To get the civilians out of here. And he secretly thinks, and get myself out of here. But yeah. He also has the most common sense out of anyone in 40k. Thank you, thank you, thank you. No, no. Do you recognize oh. them? Oh. Yeah. Who yep. couldn't? You. I'm sorry, you're gonna have to hear that voice again? Let me see. Seriously, it was your bravery that made this all possible. Kai, 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 this ah. Yeah, it's Takahata. He's actually friends with the guys who made this series. Normally, I wouldn't be able to recognize a Taka voice because he just uh, has so many, but yeah, it's just perfect, so. Yeah. Hmm. It is. He is Kaifus Kane, and he is referred to as the hero of the Imperium, because he is so beloved by his soldiers and so many people that everyone just thinks he's the greatest thing in the world. Even though, basically, what happened was there he got himself assigned to an artillery regiment because he basically wanted to be like, I will be the furthest person away from the fighting, and they will just get to shoot artillery. When the fighting got a little too close, he might have hightailed it in a Chimera tank. And then uh, realized that that was just a flanking force and met the real real main force as he was running away and basically told him, okay, fire on my position. I found the real force. They're like, uh, what? we were looking for you. What's going on? He's like, I found the real force. Just open fire. And they're like, are you sure? I'm like, I'm being chased by them right now. Do something. And instead of thinking that he was trying to flee, everyone thought he went on a scouting mission. It was just so brave. Well, yeah, that's because he's Kai as Kane. He went on scouting missions. He's just that fucking brave. And here's the thing about it, that his secretary, Jurgen does believe everything that Caiaphas Kane says or does is just part of his plan, even though most of his plans are just hit him riding by the seat of his pants. Mechwolf, that feels like heresy you're spouting. He's <laughs> Caius Kane, hero of the Imperium. You shut your lying mouth. I mean, that's what everyone else thinks. Good, like sir. At first I was nervous of you giving me command of the front lines against the foul greenskins. Oh. But you observed from the rear lines, uh -huh. but I see now that it was a test. Yeah. yeah. The <laughs> my abilities filled me with a determination <laughs> so intense, I can barely express how it burned. And thank oh goodness, my God. considering that... <laughs> the rear line was completely also, he looks like the bad guy from Symbionic Titan shaved. Kinda. Yeah, he kind of does, now I realize it. But this is how Kane actually looks in the covers of the books he's in. I, re well, I, figured. I fully recommend the audiobooks, and you can find some on YouTube, because I actually listen to them. They're actually pretty good. And you just hear Kane talking himself down. He's like, I honestly am doing nothing. Like, he's honestly surprised when soldiers are fighting harder, because he's like, why are they fighting harder? I just got here. What's going on? Hmm. Because they're fighting harder because he's Caiaphas Kane and he says that he believes in them and trusts them to get the job done. Which, if a soldier has good morale and you say things like that to them, they're going to do a better job. Commissar Kane, how you Bravely waited at the edge of a mighty cliff, 
They're totally gonna get thrown. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Called it. Holy shit! In the heat of the moment, you used our enemy's momentum. Looks like he's falling asleep. He's just sucking it all in. Not only did you defeat the enemy in one fell swoop, sir, you saved the whole of our lives. I think I prefer if he was asleep. One hail Kaifus Cade, hero of the Imperium! I want his hat and coat. Hey, hero of the Imperium! Oh, but I like the hat. I want yeah. his sword. <laughs> you want his chain sword? Let me put this out how good Kaifus Cade is. He has apparently dueled a coronate... Space Marine to a standstill. I mean, they were partially wounded, but still, a Cornet Berserker is very, very good at melee. And he honestly believes that he is a coward. Even though he's probably one of the best commissars that ever lived. When, <laughs> I do remember one time I heard that he jumped into the mouth of a hive tyrant to save a baby with a grenade in his hand. It was a series of misunderstandings that just kind of led to that. He probably said that too, honestly. There's one point where he literally is just acting tough because his girlfriend is there and he wants to look tough in front of her. Which is kind of cute. Which is why he goes along hmm. with some of the stuff she does. <laughs> oh, you poor bastard. Yes, he has raging <laughs> imposter syndrome. Oh, fuck yeah, I pulled power bond. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, he has raging imposter syndrome, and this is basically what he thinks in his head that all the time. That was so close. That was too close. I thought that was it. The end of King's long history of bullshitting is way to the top. Ah, oh, for God's sake, how am I still alive? <laughs> you mean I kill it like a damn coward as fast as a Chimera can take, right? Because that's what I did! Like a uh, piece of shit! Right to the <laughs> damn dead end! Oh! And now he's going to full map on the ground. Yeah. I was just trying to shoot the damn dorks! My group think I did it intentionally! <laughs> they always do! You fools! You beautiful fools! You have no idea the sheer size of the bit of lies I have made! You piece of shit! Oh boy. Oh, the cards you have built! Will tumble to the ground, crushing not only you, but all these poor, innocent souls whom you led into this worm of the sea. God, Emperor, I am such a piece of shit. What have I become? Your madness. This has to stop. We're out of And yes, he does have that chain sword usually always with him. What a lucky years ago, Kane. I've been mean, running on fumes for throne knows how long. You have to go up there and tell them. <laughs> Face the music, Kane, cause your song is a play it. <laughs> <laughs> That's the lie. <laughs> Before we do, just admit to them you're a fraud, a coward, no. a piece of shit. <laughs> Tell them the truth. Tell them. Come afar, Kane. And it's that's his second. In that's his secretary, Jurgen. Apparently smells incredibly awful. He looks Not like surprising. He's a vampire. <laughs> I mean, he's a psychic blank, which basically means magic doesn't work around him very well and causes psychers, basically space wizards, physical pain to be around him. Which, Yay! which might be why whenever someone tries to summon a demon near him, he can just kill it immediately. Also, that might be why he smells so bad because that's how his blank. Ness manifests. Turns out the orc war boss was in the group of green skin as the cliff face fell into. Yeah, when the orc war boss dies, they all usually just run away because the orc war boss is their leader and he is the biggest and greenest orc they have. I got a figure from the name orc war boss. Yeah. Now all of the orc forces are in full retreat, planet wide. The commander is here to award you the Star of Terror for your bravery. I was only doing my duty, Jurgen. I am honored by such a gesture. Also, you should never let Jurgen drive because he views as most things obstacles that just get in the way of where he's going. Including other buildings. And graveyards. 
and governor <laughs> palaces. Yeah. <laughs> Elder Commander, one. I humbly accept, and please send him in. He was waiting for you, sir. Oh. I I can 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 I can <laughs> I can explain. Explain. There is no need. Mood kindred. I have finally found you. Uh, mood mo mood kindred. Are are you also a piece of shit? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> what the? <laughs> ultra support. Oh ultra comfort and support. <laughs> oh. For those that don't know, the Ultramarines have this weird ability to just win battles like it's nothing. It's mostly because there was a writer who loved them a little too much and put them everywhere. But yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. That's some of the kind of people who write for 40k these days. Well, not anymore. They don't write for them anymore. The Ultramarines are now recovering. They're not being, you know, Mary Soonest. <laughs> yeah, but what is the Mary Soonest? To just win every battle and basically come out mostly unscathed. No, I mean, which race is now currently be giving, being given that treatment? Uh, I don't know. They got rid of that author, so I'm not sure. Yes, but I guarantee there's going to be other authors playing favorites. Funny enough, the Imperium was going through a really bad time, so I'm not sure. But yeah, now who wants to learn about the Tau? No. The Tau. 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 Nonsense. They're cowards. There is actually a few other... Tau are bitches and they massacred my knights, so fuck them. Oh, the yeah, I forgot. The Bane of corn demons. For those... Since you guys didn't know... They uh, halfway across the map. Medica, uh, Pletty only knows things about corn demons because a friend gave him his corn, uh, demon, uh, models, and it had rules about them, so that's the only reason he know the only thing he knows about 40k. Run face first into things and you'll normally win. We honestly think Pletty Maybe. is just an orc in disguise. Well, I mean, what do you mean? No, no, no. <laughs> an orc in disguise would be purple. That's true. Never, no one's ever seen a purple orc. But yeah, funny enough, 